just saying, oh, when I'm 18 years old or 19 years old, it'll happen. They want it to happen now, and, and the coaches are putting in the work for that. Of course, there's a little bit of talent that goes with it, too. I mean, yeah. you, you got to have a lot of talent to be able to go on 145. All right, so we're in the C final now, the men's 400 IM. We have in lane one at the bottom of the screen, Russell Noletto from City of Mobile Swimming. Patrick Cusick in lane number two from Dynamo Swim Club. Three, Thomas Davis from Team Greenville. Four, Nathan Jonas, Cincinnati Marlins. Five, Austin Haney from Northern Kentucky Clippers. And six, Alari Lever Lopez, Chattahoochee Gold. Seven, Scott Piper from Academy Bullets. In lane eight, Connor Brown, Long Island Aquatic Club. The very long stroke there in lane number seven, Scott Piper, I guess that's really what you want to do in a four and I am be nice and long on that fly. Yes, for sure. The less energy you spend on the fly, the better, honestly. And his fly is beautiful. And it's actually Levero Lopez out first, 0052 to 0068. And Scott Piper still looking, look at that, nice long strokes where you look at Alari Lever Lopez, he looks like he's turning over a lot faster. Obviously, the energy expense for Scott Piper in seven is a lot less, but you know, maybe in the end, it might be better for him to have a quicker right, turnover. Right, yeah. I guess it all depends. I mean, he's probably, you know, it's like you look at Matt Grievers and you think you wish he could turn over faster, but when you're six eight, your arms you can't get over really there. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> well, these two are still going at it. They're just separated by two tenths of a second. All right, so I wanted to ask you this, Elizabeth. When these guys push off for this wall and backstroke, they can see the scoreboard. If ever there's that opportunity, how many times do you do that? Every single time I can, honestly. It's such a bad habit, and I do not recommend it to anybody, but especially in this pool, when the scoreboard is literally right in your face at the turn end, it's so hard to not look at where you are. Because you want to know, you know, what you're on pace to go, and you need to really speed it up or whatever. And, uh, terrible habit but you know it happens and I move on you just I, I think you just can't avoid it yeah. I mean your eyes are right there you might as well go to it all right so Scott Piper moving ahead here on his breaststroke we got lane number three Connor Bland or sorry Davis Talmadge Talmadge Davis moving up for team Greenville So Scott Piper has been right in the thick of things, and now he's got a great lead here, a little more in a body length. Long too. Very long stroke there by Scott Piper. He's really using the most out of his legs. He's got great leg kick because he's gliding really far. These guys, other guys are really having to, maybe maybe they're being as aggressive, but because they don't have the great kicks, they're really having to put forth that great effort. We're going to see how his legs feel. He's, what is the Olympic trial cut? Olympic trials cut is set 427.49. So he has to come back in a 59. It's tough, but it's doable. He's got his teammates. They're cheering him on. The Academy Bullets are really going behind him. Coming back in a minute, though, I mean, obviously for women, that's not an easy thing yeah. to do. But even for guys, I mean, if you look at it comparably, you know, you're 431, 400 I am, and he, these guys are going for 427. So kind of way about the same. I mean, they, you know, you're trying to break a minute. They're trying to break a minute. Really tough ass for these guys. But when you got the teammates going for you. So Scott Piper is holding on. We got lane number three, da Talmadge Davis, Alari Levers, Lopez, and six still holding on. Looks like it might be Scott Piper, though. 431 82 for Talmadge Davis getting in there for the win. We won't tell them that you can beat him in a four-hour night. No, I would, don't worry, they would beat me tonight. That's all that matters for them. Yeah. I do want to ask you real quick, how many, if, let's say you swim five meets 
in a season. Right. How many of those meets do you do a 400 IM? Every single meet. Every single meet. And yes, it's annoying at times because it's a really hard race, but practice makes perfect. And the more experience you can get doing a really hard race like that, honestly, I have the more experience, the better. And the more confidence I have going into the end of the season. And, you know, if I my times get faster every meet, then I know when I taper, I'm going to be faster. And that's like such a nice calming feeling, especially going into a hard event like that. 